Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Beach FM, great to welcome back the chair of the Paikakariki Community Board, Holly Ewans. Good morning and welcome. Oh, nice to be here. Thanks, John. Well, it's even better to have you here. And I believe you've got a busy day today, an open day today. It's finally arrived at Paikakariki. That's right. NZTA uh, uh, have confirmed that they are having an open day. Uh, this will count as their consultation. So that's today. It runs from 1.30 until 8 o'clock tonight uh, at St. Peter's Hall in Paikakariki. And I'm not sure if listeners have uh, heard me speak last week about this. Um, I'm not surprised that they've pushed ahead with their open day, but uh, the community board weren't kept uh, suitably informed to help mm. get the word out. So um, if, if it's something that you're interested in. You don't need to be a Paikakariki resident um, to have an input in this because it is a proposed uh, CVSC, which is a souped up way station, uh, on the sandpit site approaching Mackay's Crossing heading north. Uh, at our community board meeting uh, last Tuesday, Darren Utting from Transmission Gully also uh, made a presentation to the board. And at that presentation, it was made clear to us, uh, it was a recent development just uh, last week, that they will also be uh, putting an asphalt plant uh, on the same site as the future waste station. And that asphalt plant will be temporary, but it will continue for uh, the build of Transmission Gully. Um, so if you jump on paikakariki.nz and look on the event itself for the open day, I've added... Um, relevant documentation that I've received um, and I'm just about to upload the consent application. Uh, when asked at the community board meeting about how many trucks uh, would be or vehicles would uh, use the asphalt plant, the entrances and exits, uh, 250 trucks and other vehicles a day. Uh, so it's not insignificant, and of course it's an asphalt plant in the middle of some park. So I'm sure that uh, residents outside the Paikakariki area might like to come along and um, and maybe have some input into that as well. All right, let's 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 unpack some of this. Firstly, I think I'm correct in saying that you came across this open day as a booking of the venue rather than being officially identified by NZTA. Is that correct? Mm-hmm, that's so this is shocking consultation. It's lack of consultation. It almost feels to me as if NZTA are attempting to sneak this in. Very important that people have their say. So now we've got Daryl Utting telling us there's going to be an asphalt plant. Is this actually mixing up the asphalt and, and therefore we're going to have the uh, smell of tar all over Queen Elizabeth Park? Is that the kind of operation? Yes, from what I can understand, it is absolutely where they'll be making the asphalt. Uh, it's going to be a diesel-run plant. I'm still working my way through the consent application that I've just received through council uh, yesterday. So, yeah, people might like to jump on there and have a read because although it's temporary, uh, it's a temporary plant, but you'd be looking at up to two years until mm-hmm. transmission or until transmission gully is finished. Next question, is the asphalt plant, you say it's in the same general area as the way station, is it yes. going to be there before the way station or will there be a time when you've got both the asphalt plant and the way station at least being constructed? Uh, that will be going on before, well, I imagine they'll both be constructed at a, on along a similar time frame because uh, I know that NZTA, their timeline for constructing the way station uh, was was hoping to get in there as soon as possible so it's ready to go when TG opens. Um, oh. The asphalt plant is going to be obviously creating um, the mm-hmm. Transmission Galley Road. Uh, so th- there might be a slight crossover there, but uh, yeah, that's as much as I know. Hundreds of trucks and mm. a very important entry point to Queen Elizabeth Park. It, it seems to me that this is an issue that applies not just to Paikakariki but to the entire region as Queen Elizabeth Park is such a community asset. So perhaps people from wider than the village could get themselves involved in this and this is the time to make those submissions, to make your voice heard, isn't it, Holly? Absolutely, absolutely. Come along, have your say, ask hard questions. Absolutely. What's your understanding of what the open day will consist of? 
I don't actually know because the <laughs> communications haven't been great, but um, I could probably read to you what that they 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 are wanting uh, feed. So they say they're wanting feedback uh, from uh, the community about concerns uh, and there will be well I hope that there are decent sized maps that are easily to, easy to understand because uh, at the last briefing or the only briefing we've had at council the maps were um, we, we couldn't see them Gosh. they were so small so hopefully there are decent maps um, yeah so we'll hopefully get some good good maps and also showing how many vehicles and and traffic management and all that kind of stuff as well not just not just some some pretty maps yeah mm, okay and is this a fait accompli it will happen uh, we were we were we were told that it wasn't yeah okay but uh, so. if people don't get along to this open day uh, it will be ticked off, I imagine, as the public consultation, and yep. uh, so yeah. So yep. if people don't get in there and um, and have their say, uh, and even then, if they have their say, we <laughs> we don't really know. But uh, yeah, they are obliged to uh, to formally consult with the community. So um, I imagine that this is it. But what also they have actually kept, uh, which is good, an online feedback form. So even if you can't make it to Paikakariki today to the open day, uh, do jump on paikakariki.nz and see some of the maps that I do have there then um, and I've got a link there which is open from today until the 6th of November so you have got a little bit of time to uh, to offer your feedback as well yeah. excellent okay 1 30 today I assume in St Peter's because that is the center of the universe absolutely you are correct John right let's move on there must be something happening what about the pride parade that's coming up shortly isn't it that's right yes we've got our pride festival we've got a busy um we've got a busy uh, Labour weekend. We've got the Pride Parade. We've got a dog show, the Pride Dog Show, and family <laughs> picnic and quizzes. And so that jump on online and you'll see all of the wonderful things that that um, you can bring the family along to. Uh, it's just always a family and community based uh, festival, and they want to keep it that way. They want to keep it small, and uh, they want it to be a safe and inclusive vibe, which um, I highly commend. And it brings a lot of colour and fun to our village and really helps to um, economically feed our small businesses as well. So uh, it's, a, it's a festival that's um, widely supported in the village. We've also got a Halloween hoedown. So this Halloween, if you've got your, your young children, you can go to St Peter's Hall on Halloween, which will be lovely, uh, barn dance style hoedown. Uh, with a with a Halloween vibe. Um, also, this Sunday there is a one day exhibition at St Peter's Hall, which is called The People of Paikakariki, and it's an exhibition of local faces by Taja Farslow. Wow. And it's quite an interesting story. She started out it was started out as an exercise where she put a call out on our local Facebook group saying, "Does anybody want to have their portrait painted mm. off a photo off a photograph?" And I can't remember how many she's done now, but I think it's over fifty. Uh, and so she's exhibiting them at St Peter's Hall on Sunday from 1 till 4. So I'd suggest that you get along and they look amazing all together. Oh, they look really great. So that will be fun too. That is a terrific idea. That's yeah. just wonderful. So that's Sunday. And yes. so much happens in Paikakariki. It's always a delight chatting to you here on the beach. Thank you so much for joining us, Holly Ewans. Thank you very much. 106.3 Beach FM.